Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about problem set 1 cache. So if you want to get the solution of problems of CS50 and other programming problems, check the description below. All right. So basically in cache, we're going to get, we're going to receive how much cents uh, the customer is owed. All right. And we have to calculate how many coins we're going to use for the change. So for example, if the customer pays with 50 cents, so we're going to use two quarters. So we're going to calculate two coins all right or 76 we're gonna use three quarters and one penny so we're gonna receive we're gonna use four coins all right this is the goal of the problem and to do this uh, we have some functions that we have to calculate this is a little bit different from the previous ca uh, cash problem all right so this is CS50 2022 so let's just start the first part we're going to work with this get sense. So implement get sense is such a way that the function prompts the user for a number of cents using get int and then returns that number as an int. If the user inputs a negative int, your code should prompt the user again. All right. So we're going to use the do while loop that is going to help us. This is something that we did in Mario. All right. So I already put here what we're going to do. So basically we're going to do a use a do while. So do what are we going to do? We're going to get cents, all right? So we're gonna use get int here, and we can say change, I don't know, something like this, all right? And we're gonna keep asking while the user prompts an integer variable, uh, a negative integer, all right? If the user prompts zero or a number greater than zero, we're gonna use this number. Otherwise, if it's a negative, we're gonna keep asking. So this is what the do while loop will do, all right? So I'm gonna say here, actually, int sense. I'm gonna initialize in, in here, all right? I'm gonna remove the int in here. And we're gonna say while sense is less than zero, okay? So if we try it out, Let's see, make cash. We have, a, we're missing here the semicolon. Let me run it again. So make cash, great. If I do dot forward slash cash, let me get here that forward slash, dot forward slash cash. So if I put here minus one, he's going to keep asking. If I put here minus 10, he's going to ask again until I give a positive value, okay? So that's it for the first function. Let's do the next one. So now that we did the get sense and now we are returning here, uh, I remember that we are not returning anything, right? So here we have to return the sense, okay? Because once we return the sense, this will be how many cents we're going to work in this project, all right? Then the next line we have here, calculate the number of quarters to give the customer, all right? So here we have a variable called quarters and we're going to call the function calculate quarters and we're sending the cents. So what are we going to do here? In the calculate quarters, the function calculates how many quarters a customer should be given if they're owed some number of cents. So for example, if the user gives us 50 cents, we're gonna return two quarters, right? So we're gonna get how many quarters we're gonna return to the user. So to do this, we are already receiving how many cents we have so far, okay? So in here, we're going to create a variable that will count this for us, all right? So we're gonna count how many coins we're gonna, how many quarters we're gonna return, and we're gonna do a while. 